All right, we're going to work on the proper case solution from Zach's uh, Visual Basic, which is Chapter 7, Exercise 6, the first intermediate exercise. So um, we have starter files already. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. And we have a text box for entering a person's first and last name. And we should display it in what they call proper case. So it should be an uppercase character and everything else should be lowercase. If the user enters only one name, um, only that name should be in proper case. And make sure that if the user enters more than one space before, between the first and last names, it handles that. And when we're done, send the focus to the TXT name control. So, all right, let's have at it. So let's look at what the proper case sub procedure is. Oh, it's nothing. All right, so. Here, this is October 22nd. All right, and proper case, what are we going to do? So, we need to get the input, find the space. Well, and I want once I get the input, I want to trim the input, right? Get rid of spaces on either side. Um, find the space between names if there's only one space. Don't do anything to last name. Make it proper. Put it back into the output label and focus the user. So we're going to move that focus back. All right, so in the input, um, I'm going to do str full name as string is equal to txt name dot text, and I'm going to trim it at the same time. Okay, so get the name and trim it. I'll find the space between the names. So to do that, I'm going to use index of. So I'm going to say dim int space as integer is equal to str full name dot index of, and index of looks for a character. And what I'm looking for is a space and this should throw, it's gonna throw an error for me. I thought it would, because it, it's expecting a character and this is a string. So it should have to be written like this. Okay, anyway, that's the proper way to write it because we're looking for index of, looks for a character. Actually, there's eight overloads of this. Um, so maybe one of them accepts a string. Let's take a look. Oh. Well, we got really into it here, um, but yeah, you can see index of also takes a string. So, um, okay, I really deep into that. So string or character, either way works. So if there's only one space, there is no last name. Okay, so we're talking about like Madonna here, right? Madonna is using her application, she types in her name, or if there's, sorry, not only one space, if there's no space. So I'm going to do an if statement and say, if int space is equal to negative one, then, because index of will return negative one if it doesn't find what you're looking for. And if this is the case, I'm then going to do, well, let me see here. Uh, this is where we put it back. I wonder if I need to save this as a variable. I guess I don't need to. Um, I'm guessing we have, yep, I'll be name dot text equals. And I'm going to say proper case, um, which is a function that I'm going to write. And I'm going to run this proper case on str full name. Because if, if it's Madonna, then we're going to run, we're going to make her name into this proper case. All right, so let's now write this function. So I'm going to go to the quick commands, generate methods for proper case. Okay. And I'm going to just rename this instead of str full name, str name. And what is this going to do? This function is going to return str name in the zero spot. So the first character, so I'm going to convert it to a string and then make it uppercase. Okay, so this is taking out a character 
making it a string and making it uppercase. So we took the M in Madonna and forced it to uppercase. And then we're going to add to it. I think it's ampersand. I sometimes get this one wrong. Um, we're going to add to it str name dot substring starting at spot one. And if you don't give it a length, it'll just do the rest of the string dot to lower. Okay, so uh, make it proper while we did that right there. And then put it back into the output label while well, we did that right away. All right, we just did that right here. And then focus the user. So txt name dot focus. And this is a method, so we can put in empty parentheses. Remember in vb.net, if you have empty parentheses, they're not required. So this way or this way. I prefer to leave the empty parentheses in there because it makes, it real, it makes me realize that that is a method versus this looks like a property to me. Right, so I like the empty ones there. Let's check this out. So Madonna, and it worked, right? And I could put in Madonna, Madonna like that, and it worked, right? But if I put in my full name, it's not doing anything because int space is something, right? It's finding a space within that um, name. So this is int space is something or a space exists. So what I can say here is, you know, what's the first name? What's the last name? And then make these proper and put back into the output label. So what is the first name? So dim str first name as string is equal to str full name starting at spot zero. And what is the length? Well, let's think about this. If I have Eric Nagel, right? And in this case, in space, it's going to be zero, one, two, three, four. In space is four. And what is the length that I want to pull? Um, hang on, sorry, I forgot my substring here. What is the length I want to pull from the substring? Well, I want to pull a length of four. So the length is um, in space. All right, and while we're at it, we can take this and we can put proper case, we can change it to the case right away. All right, and then Let's just put this into the output label just to test it out. All right, and comment out my name here. So I run it. And I can say Eric Nagel. It did get my name correctly. Okay. Now I don't know if there's a space there or not. Um, we're gonna we're gonna work on that in a second. Um, also, if you, you notice, I hit enter and nothing happened because proper case is not set to the accept button. So please, let's change that. That drives me crazy. Accept button is set to BTN proper. And while we're at it, we can, if with the form selected, we can change the cancel button to BTN exit. Okay, I'm more concerned about the accept button because I want to be able to type a name in. And while I have the... Um, my you know hands on the keyboard, I can just hit enter. All right, so I think that worked. Um, I'm not sure if that txt name focus worked. I didn't really notice that. Yeah, I mean, we're still there. So I guess that focused us. Yep, that worked well. Okay. So what is the last name? We're almost there. Um, str last name as string is equal to, well, I know I'm gonna run it through proper case. And I know I'm going to use str full name dot substring. Where do I start counting? So remember, in this case, int space is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. I want to start counting at spot 5. 
So it's just literally int space plus one. And how far do I need to go? I want to go to the end of the string. So I don't need to put a second argument in there. And when we put these back together, I'm going to do um, str first name and str last name. And I'm doing this with a purposeful error put in here. I'll show you this in a second. So now if I do eric space um, n-a-g-e-l, something like that, there we go, Eric Nagel. Um, the purposeful error that I mentioned was I didn't put a space in there, so we have to make sure we put a space in there. But look, in between the names, something we have to handle is if you, the user puts spaces before or after, well, that handles it because when we pull in the text, we trim it. So that's not a big deal. But multiple spaces inside, there is an error there, okay? Because what happened was it handled the first name properly, but it found the, the space. And then for the last name, it treated it as, you know, space, space, Nagel. So when it ran proper case, it made the space an uppercase space, which doesn't really exist, right? And then it just added the rest of it. So we need to fix this. There's a couple of different ways. I know how I was originally thinking, but all right, let's do this. Let's start with putting the space in between the names here, right? And on this, what if we took str name, I wonder if this would work, str name equals trim str name, right? So this isn't really the, the way I thought about doing it, but that worked really nicely. That actually probably is the most elegant way to do this. Um, it's not exactly accurate, right? Because last name in this case is this. So um, yeah, a couple different ways we can do that. We can, we can trim it here, which I like because you're always trimming it. We could also, which might be even better, trim it up here. And we're only concerned about trimming the last name, okay? Yeah, let's just leave it like this. I think this is a, a good way to do it. So uh, we can get rid of this comment. This comment's explaining the else section. This is the first name, last name, make them proper. Let's uh, clean up the code just a little bit. So I think that looks pretty good. It works, right? Um, and let's check. Oops, let's check here. Uh, the user enters only one name display in proper case. So we did that, but we also added a heck of a lot more code since we did that. So let's just make sure that that's still working. Okay, looks good. I can't pull this up. Okay. Um, inadvertently enters more than one space between first and last names. So. That works. And by the way, you know, make sure it still works if you just put in the, you know, your name correctly. So that worked. Cool. After displaying the name, uh, set the focus. We did that. And we took care of all that. So there you go. We just completed the proper case solution from Zach's VB chapter seven, exercise six.